Updated July 23, 2018 13 hours 49 minutes and 32 seconds Australia's women's sevens coach John Manenti is confident his troops will stick around as they plot the demise of a rampant New Zealand ahead of Tokyo's 2020 Olympics. Manenti took the reins after April's Commonwealth Games and helped the Rio gold medalists cling on to win their second World Series crown. But there is no denying the Kiwis are the team to beat after they romped to a World Cup title in San Francisco on the weekend. Australia were upset by France in the semi-finals and had to settle for bronze. And the team has not beaten New Zealand since a 31-0 thrashing capped a perfect Sydney World Series leg in January. We're in the chasing pack now and they're going to go away and work hard just like we will, Menenti said. They, New Zealand, are looking fitter than they did in Sydney. That game was a really good kick up the backside for them. It bronze was disappointing, because our expectation is they win gold, but the nature of sevens is that one bad half of the half is enough, Menenti said the retention of star playmaker Charlotte Kaslick, who was headhunted by an R clubs ahead of the inaugural women's season voted well the girls have been offered contracts and i think they'll all come back he said we want girls playing for the right reasons but here we're in san francisco at the moment the comparisons aren't there in other football codes and they may be at some stage but not for a while you'd think the side will take four or five weeks off ahead of october's world series opener in denver Emma Tone gato shoulder will go under the knife and miss up to six months of rugby while emily Cherry will have an ankle clean-out and Alicia Quirk will get scans on an injured knee. Men's team labour to 10 at their Australian men were beaten 24-12 in the playoff for ninth by a resurgent island. Side in what was a disappointing tournament for the side ranked 4th in the current World Series standings. Upset by France on day one, ninth was the best Australia could do as New Zealand went on to become the first men's team to win back-to-back -back titles. But 16th seeds Ireland, later rivals on the World Series scene this year, dominated possession to notch a second win against Australia in three attempts this season. The Irish led 17-7 at the break and were never headed in the second half despite a trademark Maurice Long bottom dash giving Australia some hope. Australia had earlier beaten Canada 17-9, with John Porch's second try crucial after scores were locked 7-7 at half-time. New Zealand's men capped off a golden weekend for the Kiwis by beating an impressive England 33-12 at a packed it. In the decider, after England progressed thanks to a 29-7 upset of World Series champions South Africa in the semi-final. AAP Topics, Sport, Rugby Union, Rugby 7, United States, Australia, New Zealand first posted July 23, 2018 13 hours 38 minutes and 33 seconds.